This isn't vengeance. This is an R-rated Thor with nothing to lose. Punishment. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Extraction, the newest Chris Hemsworth action movie that's just released on Netflix. Aside from having the most bland ass title of the year, this movie is actually really good. When I saw the initial posting about this, I really thought it was just gonna be a straight to DVD action movie, but then I saw that Joe Ruscio was attached to it. I saw some clips about how they were doing some of the stunt work in it. So I thought, hey, let's give it a go. And you should, you really should. For a film that doesn't have much plot, it makes up for it with its action because this is a really sexy cross blend of John Wick action slash camera work as well as The Raid action slash camera work. This is a perfect blending of the two in my opinion. I can't believe how good the action is and how brutal it is. And funny enough, something that people aren't talking about too is that this is kind of a mix of a Hollywood slash Bollywood sort of team up. We've seen a lot of these over the last few years with Korean actors, especially obviously China actors. They're obviously really catering to these markets. However, this movie doesn't do that. It just makes a really goddamn good action movie and just so happens to have have these actors in it who by the way one of them one of them's really damn good there's a part in the movie where you think that you know what's gonna happen you think you know what's gonna happen and then it twists and then you think okay now that i know this twist it's gonna happen this way it doesn't there are a lot of twists and turns in the story for a film that is so very narratively narrow focused it gives you a few good <gasps> moments it's not just from the action it's actually how the narrative plays out this whole movie's about this one kid who's been kidnapped by these really evil drug lords or these criminal people and then chris hensworth goes in to try and save them chris hensworth obviously has a damaged past and nothing to lose except he can't lose sure it's fast enough to show off those abs. Obviously things go wrong and it turns into a full on street fight. And there's multiple characters in this movie. There isn't just the kid, there isn't just Hemsworth and it isn't just the big bad who's sending out goons. There are people in the middle. There are kids, child soldiers basically in this movie. And when there's a point where Chris Hemsworth goes up against these child soldiers, it's like, are they gonna do what I think they're gonna do? Is that gonna turn a few people off? Maybe, but it's so well shot. And of course, speaking of well shot, we got to talk about that one shot it kind of comes out of nowhere and it keeps going and going and going the most impressive one shot i'll ever say is definitely an atomic blonde while i don't like that movie that much i will give credit where credit is due that's a great action scene this is the length of atomic blonde but with the activity level of 10 coked up maniacs fighting each other with bazookas and shotguns it is insane how long the shot goes and how well most of the transitions are some of them are cartoony some of them go straight into cgi land but the thing that i will say is the transitions of them are all pretty fluid. Some of them are totally obvious, but they work so well that you don't care. Is it as seamless and as beautiful as 1917? No. Is it really, really good still though? Yeah, I'm impressed with this movie. It's a very solid, solid action movie. It makes me want to re-watch and finally review The Raid 2 because I've got major Raid vibes from this movie. It's got a very kind of basic story. There isn't too much to it, but they do try to add a layer of interest into some of these characters. Like for instance, we see a mob boss throw a kid off a roof and that's his introduction. Like, oh wow, he's evil. So I like that they tried this. They tried to put in this extra level of effort into it, even if it's not as much as you would think. Apparently the director is a longtime stunt guy for the Avengers movies, as well as some of the John Wick films. So really great, great work from this guy. It's great to see stuntmen put their craft on film and to show the skills that they've learned over the years and put that into a hardcore, very engaging action movie. I hope that this guy gets more work because he deserves it. In the end, while extraction from a movie perspective in terms of narrative is a four out of seven, I'm not gonna deny that this movie is a badass action movie. So I'm gonna give this film a five out of seven. I was honestly very surprised. I was very, very engaged with this movie. So you guys should definitely check it out. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Also, make sure to check out my Titan AE Forgotten Marvel video that I did just recently. I really would like to see what you guys think of it. I might be trying to do more of these essays in the future because they are quite fun. They do take a lot of work, but if, you know, people like them enough, then... You know, I'll keep doing them. Anyways, stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support.
To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.